Hi and welcome to 70 Service Instructions. Today we're going to show you how to change over a sliding patio door uh, from an OX to an XO. Our doors are all reversible um, when you receive them and I'll show you how you got to do that. First you want to open your sash halfway. Using a utility knife and a putty knife there are hole plugs that cover the adjustment screws for the rollers. So, if you want to get behind that and pry them out, and we'll set them aside, we're going to need those again. Sometimes they can be a little tough to get out, but just pry them on out, they will come out. Then with a standard size screwdriver, Phillips said, you just turn the screw for the adjustment to the left and that will adjust the rollers down to its lowest point. Make sure you do both sides. Then the sash, all that you do is lift up and pull it towards you from the bottom and drop it back down. We can set our sash aside and we'll need that a little later. Now we want to remove the track from the door. First we want to remove the, the bumper, which is the sash bumper that softens when it opens. You can just take that out, set it aside. You can use a screwdriver and pry the bar up you can also use a claw hammer to get underneath and pry up. And all that you're doing is prying that track and snaps in there out of the channel. You get so far, and then I use the screwdriver the rest of the way. I just pull that out, my screwdriver, and just pry on the channel, and it will eventually come out. We want to set this track aside. We're going to need that here shortly. At this time, we can take our frame and we can totally flip it over. So right now our stationary panel is on our left side. So if we take this frame and we turn it completely over, our stationary panel is now on our right side. We just reverse the handing of the door. We want to take the track that we took out. We're going to reinstall by putting the face of it in first on an angle. So it goes down under the lip that's on the frame. And then, with a block of wood or something similar, you can put in the track on the other side. And all that you're doing is snapping that track back into the channel. Now that the track's back in there, your bumper can be placed back in on the opposite side it was in before. And just pushed into the frame. And at this point your frame is done and you can go to your sash. So now we want to take our sash and what we're going to do now is reverse the hardware. So on the top side of the sash you had open holes. The bottom had your rollers. We need to take the rollers out and reverse those. Using a screw gun. We're just going to take these out, four screws, and we're going to pop these out, set those aside, we're going to need them here. Now we can turn the sash completely over, and you want to make sure that the screw holes where the plugs are and this Phillips head is facing the same way. So when we put that in, you want to make sure that Phillips head is facing the hole where the plugs are on both rollers. Because you will need to adjust those when we put it back in. Everything is pre-punched and pre-drilled. So you can just run your screws back in. Fits right in there.
Okay, next step is take the handle off. So there's a handle on both sides. Two screws hold that on, so you want to hold the handle on the back while you take the screws out. And the back side comes off, and the front comes out. All the pieces and parts. Set them down. Turn the sash on its side. This is the mortise lock. We're going to need to flip it over. So it will go into the same roundings. Two screws on there. The two end screws, the two center screws you don't have to worry about, just the two end screws. Turn that over, put it back in. Put your screws back in, that part is done. Now knowing that this is the bottom of your sash now, and this is the top, because you reversed it, that means the sash is going to operate this way. You want to make sure you put your handle back on properly because now you just changed the handing for your handle also. Make sure it operates properly. Your handle then goes through the holes and you can hold that on. And then you take your back side. You got to make sure that you line up for your key lock. Once I get it aligned, then we can run our screws back into our handle. It's easier to do this when you're actually standing up and facing it. Once you have your handle back on, you want to make sure your lock is working properly. And while you have your sash out, we can remove our other plugs. these ones in the top. Now our sash is ready to reinstall. So take your sash, put the top in first, set it down using a screwdriver, adjust your wheels back up. your plugs back in your holes. Now you have an XL.